Hello everybody, this is Daniel Wonder from Deep South Homestead. Now we are guys, we're out here on our pier. Enjoying it. We are actually enjoying it. The uh, the pond has turned green like it's supposed to. No more muddy water. We can actually see the bottom. Yeah, we can see the bottom out several feet deep. Mm -hmm. uh, fish and, are popping. Yeah, fish are popping. Um, fish are doing good. I, I, feel, I felt like we were really close to having an ecosystem where it needed to be on it, and it worked out perfect. The um, frogs are not as bad as they were. No, I think the fish may be thinning some of the frogs out. I mean, that's what it looks Something's like. Something's happening. Something's happening. They're not as loud. I mean, you can actually hear us now. Yeah. And we do have electricity out here at the pier now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a ceiling fan supposed to be here sometime next week or something or other to mm -hmm. go up here so we can have a little bit of a breeze out here while, we get, while we're out here. And mm -hmm. We've got the roof on and the gutters and it's we've got a little painting left to do and then we're going to do a video about the here. Yeah, so it'll be probably within a week or so we will show the pier in its entirety. But we have a sign up here. Yep. And the Bluebird Lake sign was designed by um, someone at Stone Printing here in our town. She did a fantastic she job. She did a fantastic job. Designing. And I didn't intend to put it there. I intended to put the sign that said this end here, and when I saw the sign said Bluebird Lake and the way she designed it, it just fit here. It fit perfect, yeah. It was it was awesome, so we want to thank them at Stone Printing. And then the sign out here, you have to go over to the other side of the pond. Yeah, you, you have to actually go to the other side of the pond and look back to see it, but I and, mean, it's, it's okay. And it says, Water is Life, and it has the Cherokee writing and the Cherokee word, Ama. Ganita. And so we um, wanted it on our pier. Yeah. Because water is life. You know, that's, you can only live three days without water. So that's pretty much life. Your body is a high percentage of water. Your organs are a very high percentage of water. So water is mm -hmm. life. You know? And as long as you're here on this world, in this earth, you need water. Yeah. And we're trying to promote that as a campaign. A lot of people tell you store food, store medicine, store ammunition, yeah. guns. We're going to say store water. Just have some water on hand. Make sure you've got good water. Or a way hand. to make it. Or a way to it. purify it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make good water. Yeah, um, that's good. It's been, guys, here we are. We've had two storms <laughs> come within 100 miles of us or 150 miles of us. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. We haven't got any rain. What, maybe an inch? Uh, no, we ain't got an inch. Maybe a half an inch. So no rain. <laughs> no rain. Uh, no wind. No wind. Uh, that's. Uh, I, I mean, how do you have two major? One's a major hurricane, uh -huh. and the other one came right next to us right here, and we got nothing from either one of them yet. It's uh, where we're sitting now. What? Just an, forty-five minutes, an hour from us. Got rain most of the last few days. Yeah, like forty, probably forty-five miles from us has got rain. No more north. The feeder bands are just missing us. They're going north of us and coming in Mobile up through Hattiesburg around through that way. They got, they got rain <laughs> after day after day after day, and we get nothing. As a matter of fact, I, I dug sweet potatoes a while ago, and and the ground's just like powder. You know, just, now we're we're blessed that we're not getting a bad storm. Right. Now we're not complaining. And we are blessed that we did not get heavy downpours because this fresh pond, both of them, would have just caved in the sides would have just had ruts everywhere yeah and so we need good slow soaking rains and the rains we've gotten over the last couple of weeks have been small showers very small I mean, and they've been soaking rains they've not been washing off rains and so i mean the pond like, hasn't went up because of it because yeah. we've had such intense heat the, the humidity today has just been, and yesterday <laughs> has just been ungodly. Well, the one know? thing we got from the storms is humidity. We did get off the gulf. <laughs> we did get the humidity from it. It, it's, it was really, really bad. And, and the heat. Yeah. You know, I mean, today it's just been a scorcher. Yesterday was a scorcher. And 
you know, but nevertheless, we still dug some sweet potatoes. I think we're up to how many five gallon buckets are we up to now? We hadn't dug it, we hadn't even finished two rows yet, and we're up six to or seven. Up to six or seven five gallon bucket fulls. And I canned 14 quarts today. That's right, you did. Um, you can't even tell I made, I even took any out of the floor. Uh, you did 14 quarts and did six potatoes, wasn't it? No, well, I did the six big ones. Yeah, the mother potatoes. And then I did six or eight just small ones, little about this size because I needed a few to fill up the, the last yeah. couple of jars. And you can't tell I even done yeah, it. There's should. a video on Crazy Days tomorrow, so or today, check it out. Check it out. Yeah. And um, we did the pineapple. Yeah, we did. A lot did. of people were asking about our pineapple yeah. that I picked. It's going to be on Crazy Days on Friday how Danny starts the pineapple top. And this was from a pineapple top that yeah, we well, started back five right. or six years ago. Yeah, it's been several years. And now. it was awesome. Yes. That was the best pineapple. It's the best ever. pineapple we've ever raised here at Deep South Homestead. Yeah. And then, guys, we've also. Uh, we're working on the greenhouse. We're on the queen dome. Uh, trying to get the raised beds in it in between the heat. That's that <laughs> just we're just doing the best we can. You know, we're older and we can't stay out here in this humidity and this heat like we used to. And I have successfully finished one raised bed down the middle. I've got one more to go. And I've got in uh, one corner. I've got Egyptian walking onions and a couple of tomatoes. And in the other corner, I have my bush okra from yep. the Grow Family Network. And it's really is, doing good. It's beautiful. Beautiful. If I can keep the ants out of it. Yeah. And then I have uh, a tomato I left there and a couple of flowers growing. And then Danny's potted his peppercorns. And they are sitting there so I can keep them watered yep. until we decide which corner we're going to be putting them in. Yeah, so we'll so, have plants going shortly in it. Yeah, we're holding off about putting the plastic on it. Um, it the weather's just too unpredictable right now. <laughs> you know, and this, you know, if we'd have had that hurricane coming up in here, Laura, like they have over around, um, you know, uh, Sabine Texas. Pass over on the Texas Louisiana line, uh, it'd probably tear them greenhouses up. I ain't gonna lie to you. We, I mean, so we're just gonna hold off until later in the season when it starts cooling down some before we put the plastic on them, you know. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of work to do before then. We've got so many irons in the fire. I've been putting up fencing <coughs> all week long. I have been putting up fencing. And we've got it where the cows can go by the pond. They can't go where the front pond is. Right. But Danny's got a lane made so we can move them over to the other side of the property now. And that's what he's been working on for nearly a month now. Been a while. And so that that's lane. finally finished. The cows are happy. They can go over there. They're enjoying themselves now. Well, we got it where we can rotate them now. We move them up there for about three hours, and then we take them out of the field for three hours, move them down here, mm -hmm. give them a roll of hay, let them eat on that a while, feed them some sweet potato vines. They can go back to the front field, eat grass again. So we're kind of just like rotating them around a little yeah. bit so they're not just in one place all the time. Now they can't get to the pond yet because we no. want we want that settled. Yeah. We're keeping them out of that area for now. Uh, once once everything, the pond gets up like it's supposed to, everything, all the land is back to normal in a, probably two or three months at uh, least. Who knows? Six months. They will have access then. That will be their pond. But yeah. for now, it's off limits. It's off limits them. right now. Um, yeah, and we got one of the big issues, one of the big things we got coming up is planting ryegrass for the winter months. We're yeah. going to be planting a lot of grass for the winter months because the cows is going to need grass through the winter. So yeah. That's another thing on the agenda. Plus, I've, guys, I've been I've been still cleaning up behind <laughs> Lance. You know, I mean, he throwed out so much fat pine lighter and so much debris and piles that and this dirt has you know, debris in it still yeah. if we go to do anything with the black dirt you have to really rake it and get all the debris out of it and the lighter before you can use the dirt so yeah. it's a process you don't just go scoop up dirt and haul off with it now i've probably got oh probably over an 18 wheeler load of, of lighter out so far Oh, I would say so. Yeah, it's over an 18-wheeler load, so... So that's uh, coming together. Yeah, and... 
One thing we wanted to talk about is our video for porch time. Yes. Porch time video, we took porch time down. Okay, guys, that video was only intended to be up for a very short period of time. We originally said 24 hours, mm -hmm. but the response was so overwhelming until we left it up 36 hours. And then we pulled it down because now there was an individual and he meant well. Yeah, he did mean well. And I'm not going to criticize him. He meant well. He actually uploaded that video over to his channel. Without so that our, he could spread the so he word. could spread the good word. And that's okay. But that was okay, but he didn't ask permission. Yeah. And this video was never intended to be up on YouTube. It's a porch time. I mean, it's a Patreon video, and we just didn't feel like it was good to to have it out there on YouTube because it could. Especially when nobody knew that it was us. There right. was no. Uh, this is Deep South Homestead, or hey, go look at this video. Deep South Homestead did. It was right. simply put on the channel as his video, and no mention of us or who we, who the person was or anything whatsoever. Yeah. And so we were kind of a little leery of that, having it out like that. So we, and we intended to take porch time down anyway. So right. we did. But the Patreon video is still up on Patreon. It's still there on Patreon. But it is not public anymore. It is uh, unlisted, and yeah. it's only for the patrons. So we apologize for that, but sometimes yeah. things get a little crazy. And yeah, you, you have always, to make you always have things that happen. You know, yeah. and, so and the response was awesome. Uh, and thank y'all for the response. We really, really did not expect such overwhelming response from it. We right. We wanted to get the word of God out there, and sometimes it's really, really hard here on YouTube to say some of the things that Danny said on Patreon, and. So we opened it up, really opening our hearts, I guess. Yeah, and I have some more videos I'm going to be posting when I can get a chance to shoot them. Uh, I will give you a heads up. One of them is called 168. You know, uh, it's a video I'm working on, getting up. I think that you'll really enjoy that one because this one, uh, 168, is a very eye-opening video let me say okay so we we ain't going there because he'll tell no, his video he, he tell wants it. to do the video <laughs> i want to do the video but um i mean it's and a these very type things go on patreon it's, it's a just, patreon video it's not a not it's a deep not style. to say that we don't appreciate everybody on youtube and things like that but when you put some things especially some things that you've been studying some things you've been re that's revealed yeah. to you and things like that if you put all that out on YouTube, you are asking for some of the craziest of crazies. Yeah, the crazies come out, and, that's for sure. And then you never know what uh, what YouTube will do. Yeah, and so, and we, that's not what Deep South is about. Deep no. South is more about um, what we do here and trying yeah. to help people learn how. We get the best letters, emails, comments, messages. Yeah. We get it from everybody, and, and I'm blessed because I'm the one that sees them most of the time. He doesn't see as many of them as I do, and people in their late 20s, early 30s saying, thank you, thank you. I don't have grandparents that know how to do this, or my grandparents are gone, and you are like a grandparent showing me how. Uh, that kind of makes it sound old, but anyway... We're, it we're, is what it is. We I started mean, you know, out YouTube as everybody's aunt and uncle. Now we're everybody's grandparents. Now we're everybody's grandparents now. <laughs> yeah, we were adopting people for a while, but now yeah. we're just everybody's grandparents. And we had somebody today ask, would we adopt them? Said they were 51 years old, but will you please adopt oh, me? Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, see, she sees all the emails. I don't hardly, I, I see them if she shows them to me. I mainly see the comments. But, you know, you know I enjoy what we do. Yeah. Sometimes it gets overwhelming and trying to do the videos because y'all don't realize to even plant a garden and show step by step the video in a video how to do it. Right. It takes us twice to three times as long to plant yeah. a garden when we're videoing. Where we can go out there and plant a garden and be done with it we if we're not videoing. In no time if we're not and videoing. And we move on to something else. Yeah. And then once we 
spend three times the amount of time planting a garden while we're videoing. I've got to go in and it's upload be it edited. and edit it. Got to upload it, edit, render it, and then upload, and then it, to upload it again to YouTube. So, so there's a process yeah. to each video, and it and takes a good bit of time. Hours. Yeah, I. It, it just takes a while. It takes a while. And so sometimes I do little short videos that can be thrown together pretty quick because it saves me some time and yeah she has to hunt her time like if she's got the canner going and, yeah. and they know it's going to be going for an hour and something with some sweet potatoes or something when she gets it going she can run in and edit for a while while it's sitting there jiggling along yeah and that's what and, i did today yeah so i mean that you just uh, have to you know you just have to you gotta be it. good with your time yeah. I, and i'm not that good danny's always <laughs> saying put your phone down and you won't be you can yeah, have I'm more always time telling her, put that phone down but he doesn't realize that's the way i keep in touch with most of you when I pick that phone up, it's an email or a message or, or something, or I'm checking comments and things, and yeah. my nose is itching really bad, but somebody's talking about us, obviously. Oh, well, it is, yeah. But it's just hot out here, though. I mean. That is how I keep up with people, is during the day, I pick the phone up and check things, mm -hmm. check um, emails especially. I try to keep up with those. Yeah, she because. does. I don't do the Facebook thing. She does Facebook. She does Instagram. <laughs> I don't do Instagram. Uh, he barely does YouTube. I barely do YouTube. Um, and Patreon. Because I'm, I'm busting my butt all day long, you know. And I have to say, wait, let me video this. He says, I'm busy. I don't have time for it. I said, you're going to wait and let yeah. me do She's this. She's like, let me get the camera. Let me video it. I said, but I've <laughs> only got so much time. I've got to get this done. And, so... Uh, it's like pulling teeth sometimes, getting him to stop. Yeah. And when I miss a step, I have to take pictures. Y'all just have to forgive me because if I stop and go do something and come back, he's like five steps ahead and I've missed them. Yeah. So it's either quit everything and just follow him around all day. I'm wide open all the time. <laughs> I don't ever, I mean, I, it's, it's just who I am. So... We thought we would just come on tonight for a short period and just say hi. We're still working on things. And the storm didn't uh, get the us. The storm didn't get us. We're, As a matter of fact, we didn't even get no unless rain. Unless it does during the night, we're we're okay. As let's see, this is let's put this away. This is Wednesday night at eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> As of Wednesday night, eight o'clock, we don't have any rain. We don't have any wind. And. That may change tonight. It may change tonight in the next couple of days as this thing goes up and turns and goes back across northern Mississippi up that way. It may pull some rain in here on us, but if it does, it you know it'll be it'll welcome. Be nice, yes. Uh, but as of right now, we don't have any don't problems, have any. and we want to pray for all those that it is going to impact. Yes, because it is going to be devastating for the coastal counties of. Uh, Louisiana and Texas especially. We know what it's like because we went through Katrina. And we know what kind of devastation it can yeah. be. They're going to be without power. They're going to need food. They're Homes gonna are going to wash away. I mean, um, uh, every, people's lives will be changed forever. The weeks following Katrina was surreal. It, yeah. it was just surreal. The first two to three days, you're like you're walking in a war zone. Well, it's Everywhere worse than a war you, zone. In a war zone, you have places that are hit and yeah. places that aren't hit. With Katrina, everything was hit. Yeah, you could not go anywhere that you were not, there were not trees everywhere. Yeah, everything was just torn uh, down People everywhere. just made paths through trees on roads so, yeah. so that people could get to their homes and stuff. And, right. And there were still trees across the road up to at least a week to two weeks later. Well, it was after, it was longer um, than that. It was like... Six months later, there were still trees because FEMA sides, came in. But yeah. I mean, what I'm saying, across the road, up to a week, you just had a path because it took time for crews to walk through and cut all the brush yeah. and pile it to the sides. The men of the community usually cut holes in the yeah, we logs just, cut, just and shoved them We just the cut way. places wide enough for a vehicle to go through. Yeah. That was it. And yeah. there was so many people that needed food because their freezers and refrigerators went yep there's no, no they, power no power they couldn't get back home if um, they left the, the government wouldn't let them come back the national guard stopped everybody you couldn't go back home house were damaged yeah 
Um, no gas. No gas. Gas for sure. was like obsolete. No yeah, we, stations were open. Some places up to a month, no gas. Yeah, and cash. Cash only. Little, small, tiny small bills. bills, not hundred dollar bills. Fives and tens. If you had ones, fives and tens, you could go to the front of the line. Anybody that had twenties and hundreds and fifties, go to the back of the line. Because they didn't have change. No change. Yeah. So guys, that's just a little heads up. These people are going to need our prayers. Keep. Keep them in your prayers and thoughts, and if you know somebody and can help them out a little bit, you check them out, see what they need. Some of these homesteads are going to take some hard beatings. Yeah, we have there. some friends that are. We got several, several friends going to be in the yeah. eye of the storm, and, and they're separated from their families. Some of them are uh, well, like the Broussards. They're a volunteer fireman, or he is a fireman, he not a, a volunteer. Fireman. He is a fireman, and his wife and his, is at. Her her parents, I believe, his wife and daughter. Yeah, so he's I mean, having to work. He's got to work through this. I mean, and, and then you got the law. I mean, you know, there's quite a few homesteads on the Texas side. There's some on the Louisiana side. Y'all just keep them in your prayers. Plus, there's millions of other people. Yeah, I mean, you got the thing gonna go right over a uh, Gemini homestead. It's gonna go right over them up through there. You know, I mean, they just two. finished. They just finished their home, and. And we got the Grow Family Network down there on the other side of New, uh, New Orleans. Yep. I don't know what they're going to get, but maybe it won't be bad. Uh, they're going to be in in the in it. At, uh, I don't know that they're taking a direct. I don't think hit. they'll take I think a direct. He's on, hit. Like us, he's on the east side. Yeah. He will get wind. He will get some. So they got we got a lot of friends over that way. That's, yeah. And then numerous ones we just can't mention all of them you know it's just yeah, too many I've, I've seen several posts that they are in the line of it yeah so guys keep them in your prayers and we got to get off from here gonna head in it's pretty dark now yeah it's not got pitch dark right now <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna get a little more done tonight and we will talk to you guys later thank you guys from deep south homestead <laughs>